But in this video, I am uh, going to check uh, the lock detection mechanism for single instance of each resource type. This is a graph. This is this is a resource allocation graph. From the graph, we need to find out whether there is any deadlock present or not. First of all, uh, we need to create a wait for graph. That is, wait for graph. Wait for graph mean uh, only process P1 requesting to R1 and then goes to our P2. This means P1 to P2. Then uh, we are collapsing all the resource is edges, all the resources from the graph. From the P2, it moves to P5 or to P3. From the P3, it moved to P4. From the P4, it goes to P1. From the P2, it goes to P4. Here, there is a cycle that is P2, P, uh, there is a cycle that is P1, P2, P3, P4, P1. As there is a cycle P1, P2, P3, P4 and again P1, this means there is a deadlock. So, deadlock means uh, there is a cycle present in the wait for graph. So, from the resource allocation graph, we need to collapsing the resources. This, we, we are deleting this edge. This P1, then we are deleting this P1 to P2. It, when you delete R1, then P1 goes to P2. When you delete R3, then P2 to P5. When you delete PR4, then P2 to P3. When you delete R5, then it may goes to P3 to P4. P2 to P4. From the P4, it is moved to P1. And in this way, we are creating a wait for graph. So, this is the wait for graph. And there is a cycle in the wait for graph. So, there is a deadlock. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Share and subscribe it. Thank you.